what's up everybody once again it's brand man sean and i got a little snippet for you guys from a great interview that i did with an artist by the name of legit and i promise you it's something worth watching when it comes to marketing and getting a greater understanding of the power of cutting fans off go ahead and watch this clip and i got a little something to add at the very end of this video hey hold on well, let's talk about wet bro because we haven't talked about okay. what your project been moving like, what's the inspiration for that song? The ladies are the inspiration for Wet, my friend. Um, and just to get just to get a little more insight on Wet, um, the Wet and Wet Tape, because the project is called Wet Tape. Um, the project is strictly for the ladies. Um, we did a no guy campaign. A no, a no. Uh, we. I mean, I don't know if I can cuss on here, but we said a no oh, dick yeah. campaign. You, feel <laughs> me? Uh, you don't got to put it. You can edit that out. No dick campaign for the Wet Tape. But Wet stands for Women's Erotic Testimonies. And um, so that it's an acronym, it's an acronym, and we kind of did a little deeper. And in the project, we we kind of throw in some poetry. And one of my uh, good friends is a Punani poet, an erotic poem, a poet does poetry. I've never heard that before. Is that like this a real thing? A Punani poet? Punani poet? Well, they, yeah, like erotic poetry is big these days, man. Like oh. the, all the open mic nights, they're doing it everywhere. Man. Erotic I just poetry. Talk to it. So I, to I grabbed it, I grabbed her, and she did. So it's, it has some erotic poetry on it. Mm -hmm. um, some good, I would say it's it's an R and B vibe. Excuse me, an R and B vibe, but it's not not too much to where you know you can't like listen to it when you vibe and then moving around. You don't have to listen yeah. to it just with your girl, kind of deal. But dope, dope, dope. yeah, man, man, I, I I love that, man. I love the whole, I love the whole concept, especially like to the point where you know, for me, branding is people always talk about who are we targeting, but branding is not. It's not just what you're doing; it's just as much what you're not doing. And y'all yeah. basically did that when y'all talking right. about no dicks, right? Like you're telling them, like this ain't for you, bro. Like yeah, exactly. Like, you know, you and get people, the lady. Most, most people like, think they, they think about it the wrong way. You're like, oh, well, you're cutting out half of your market when you don't sell to men. You don't understand what women want; men will want as well. I promise. Exactly. So <laughs> it's that target. But like I had to learn that because bro, I put out other projects mm -hmm. and I have not had the same success because mm -hmm. I put out a project and this is what I would do. I put some club songs on there. I put some uh, some street songs in, on there, right? Some quote unquote street songs. I put some lady songs on there and I try to just please everyone. And that doesn't work. It doesn't work because now, first and foremost, you can find a link to that interview in the description below, the full interview if you're interested in checking it out. And other than that though, just the idea, cutting fans off, cutting potential fans off is something that's really hard to think about for people who are feeling like they want more fans, they want more fans. But when you really think about it and listen to Legit Story, it's just another scenario that shows when you cut certain people off, you actually open a door to go deeper and get more people to love you in another space. If I get rid of these two groups over here, now I can be with this group over here all the time or spend more time in his pocket and connect with them deeper. Some people are trying to be social butterflies with fan bases as opposed to actually being friends and connecting. It's one thing to be cool, it's another thing to be the homie, it's another thing to be the friend, and it's another thing to be family. You got to decide which one you want to be. You got to you got to decide to which extent do you want to connect with each of these subsets of groups. That's just the way it is. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button if you like it. Might as well share it and if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.